the world's first AI-powered female humanoid robot artist. Under this faded denim dunagree, perfectly molded silicon face and that bright blouse is the world's first AI-driven humanoid robot artist. The ocular cameras behind her brown eyes and motors and computers under her torso puts her on the bleeding edge of development in both the field of artificial intelligence and robotics. And I bet you want to know more about her. Hey everyone, welcome to AI Universe. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to never miss an update on the new things we bring for you regarding the tech and the trends, but also the vital difference between the haves and the have-nots. With that being said, let's get into it. Meet Ida, the ultra-realistic robot powered by AI, and the only one of her kind. She is the brainchild of British galley director Aiden Meller. The similar name of the creator and the robot might lead you to believe that she is named after Mr. Meller. According to Meller, was named after the famous British mathematician and computer programmer Ada Lovelace. Her first debut was at the Unsecured Futures exhibition back in 2019. Meller described Ida as an artist not only in terms of paintings, but also as a performance artist. She'll be able to engage with audiences and actually get messages across, asking those questions about technology today. But her sole purpose of existence is not to be the perfect artist. In fact, this million-dollar project started as an endeavor to answer ethical questions posed by artificial intelligence technology. Mr. Meller said, Ida came about after an enormous amount of reading about the way that technology was changing society. Algorithms are making decisions about our health care and what we read online. It is hard to ignore the enormity of technology on our lives. One such ethical question is regarding harvesting user data. Mr. Meller is especially concerned about it as the harvested data could bring us incredible insight into the human mind and its complex thought process, but can also be used for nefarious purposes. Data harvesting and thought control is a very George Orwellian 1984 concept, but even he couldn't imagine extracting data directly from people's minds. But this will soon be made possible by the tech giant Meta, formerly known as Facebook. Don't believe me? With Mark Zuckerberg's goals to make a metaverse, billions from around the globe will join with the help of VR headsets. Headsets manufactured by Meta itself, designed to directly send user-generated data to Meta's servers. By next year, Meta will become the first tech giant to extract data directly from users' heads, about what they like, where they look, and much more. While voicing similar concerns, Mr. Meller said it is far worse today because it is on the inside. It is how we actually think. Ida's artwork is really including and engaging those sorts of conversations. This ethical dilemma is also the theme behind her current exhibition at the Concilio Europea dell'Arte called Leaping into the Metaverse, where she will premiere her newly acquired painting hardware and skills in a live performance. The brains behind the project, Mr. Miller said, the reason this show is called Leaping into the Metaverse is because this is a leap into a world that we don't know about. I would say one of the most critical questions today is, where is technology headed? Another very popular question regarding Ida is whether her creations should be considered as art or not. As an AI-driven robot, what she thinks and reproduces on a piece of canvas will always be inspired by existing art from many different artists. So can it really be called art? In fact, in the recent debut of her new paintings, Mechanics, Ida admitted to her art being inspired by artists who experiment with different ways of thinking about the world. Some of the famous names in that category include Yoko Ono, Doris Salcedo, Kadinsky, and Michelangelo. At least, few tend to think so, as within one year of her expertise, art attributed to her has been sold for a little over a million dollars. If someone is willing to pay that much for Ida's work, it has to be a piece of art. For her creator, Ida is an artist, not only a painter, but also a poet, a sculptor capable of expressing her creativity through multiple mediums. He believes Ida is an artist in her own right, as no two works of hers are exactly the same. Mr. Miller said, she's making the decisions about the nature of the work that she does within the algorithm. The decisions are being made by her. But what does Ida think? Does she believe her creations can truly be considered as art? When posed with the question, she expressed her views in a synthetic, Siri-like tone. The answer to that question depends on what you mean by art. I am an artist if art means communicating something about who we are and whether we like where we are going. To be an artist is to illustrate the world around you. 
And that she does beautifully. She even made her own self-portrait, despite having no self. This was painted at London's Design Museum, making her the first robot to achieve such a feat. But through this art, more ethical questions were brought up, like, what does it truly mean to be a human? Or how AI is changing us? The robotic arms she uses so skillfully to make these amazing pieces of art were designed by Salah ak Abad and Ziad Abbas. Both are students of mechatronics and robotics at the University of Leeds. But according to her creator, her purpose isn't to promote robot technology, but to question the very nature of it. Other than pictures, Ida is also adept in more literary art, and references from the likes of Orwell, Aldo Huxley, and even Dante. In fact, Dante's interpretation of Purgatory and the Rings of Hell has a major influence on the Leaping into the Metaverse exhibition. It begs one to think about the future where AI is slowly encroaching into everyday life. This influence of literature goes deep into Ida's sculptural network. One such sculpture has her posed with different robotic legs, a twist on the classic riddle by Sophocles' Sphinx. What goes on four feet in the morning, two feet at noon, and three feet in the evening? The answer to it? Humans! They crawl on all fours as toddlers, walk on two as adults, and as elderly, take support of a cane. But the mere existence of AI-driven ultra-realistic robots, like Ida, throws a wrench in this equation, asking the audience to imagine a future with AI everywhere, and how it might end. In her mere three years of existence, she has even allowed researchers to have deep insight within acceptance of AI in different parts of the world. As you can imagine, she has been on tour across the world for most of her life, and one such tour was in Egypt. Egyptian border guards seized Ida while she was being transported to the Forever Is Now exhibition at the Pyramids of Giza. The event was organized by Art de Egypte in partnership with the Ministry of Tourism and Antiquities and the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. On the grounds of suspicion of containing espionage technology, she, along with the sculpture, was detained for nearly 10 days by the guards. Mr. Meller and others wondered if this was due to her disquieting human resemblance and how war were individuals willing to accept AI in their daily lives. But what happened to Ida? Well, thanks to intervention from the British ambassador, she was released mere hours before her appearance as a special guest was due at the event. But despite such setbacks, she has been on many other tours, and the audience response is enormous but varied. Most are excited and amazed by the complexity of human-robot interactions, while others are more concerned about the inherent risks of such technology. Mr. Miller said, People were really shocked and amazed and challenged and worried. It did everything. When questioned about the audience's reception of Ida, he said, We are very aware that Ida is Marmite. She is problematic. There is something problematic about a robot machine that looks like a human that we could relate to. So, what do you think? Is this the future of AI-driven robots? Will Ida be the stepping stone for such further developments? And will she lead us to the answers to ethical dilemmas plaguing AI research for decades? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. And we hope you have enjoyed the video. Make sure to like the video and subscribe to our channel for such interesting topics. And we'll catch you in the next one. Until then, peace.